If you've been watching the channel for any time now, you know we've done a load of upgrades to our van, including our big electrical upgrade with all that Victron gear and three 320 amp hours of lithium batteries. We put 950 watts of solar on the roof and we've also put an extra drinks fridge in here and we keep getting asked, are we overweight? How much does the motorhome weigh? We'll keep watching and later on in the video, we're gonna weigh it. We also had our VBS suspension fitted and that's made the ride much, much smoother. It's much more comfortable for passengers in here and a lot less noisy in the back over rough terrain. Um, it's also been real handy to level it out at a push of a button. You might remember at the Brandenburg gate, we bumped up onto the curb and we were able to level it at a push of a button. It's been fantastic. But the main reason we had our VBS suspension fitted was of course, when we kept knocking our water pipes off the back and bottoming out the tow bar. The tow bar's about to ground out now. So right now we can push the button and we can drop the front and lift the rear when getting on and off ferries. It makes it much, much better for that. You might remember a couple of years ago, I certainly do, when we got stuck on the beach in Villa Ricos. Steve had wanted to get as close to the front as possible and we drove on and got stuck. So we thought we'd find a nice little place on the beach to park and we look at it here. But unfortunately that five tonne thing weighs too much and we got stuck. If we'd had leveling legs, we'd have been able to put them down to lift the van up. Then we'd have been able to put something underneath the wheels and been able to drive off. So we decided as we're keeping this van for a few years and we're to spend so much time in it that it was worth the investment and looking at having leveling legs added. So we did some research and we decided to go with Alco. Now, why did we decide to go Alco? Well, um, it's got an Alco chassis on the van, so I figured it's probably best to go with the manufacturer's recommended system. Not only that, the Alco High 4 system has four independent pumps for each leg, and some systems just have the one pump for all four legs. So we decided to head up to Blackburn and I got them fitted. Now, the install took two days in total, and I'm very, very happy with the results. So let me show you how this works. First off, we go and put our VBS suspension into service mode. Next, we power on our high four system and we just push the button. That brings all four legs down and it lifts the van up and it levels it automatically for us. And when it's level, all lights stay solid and you get a green level indicator in the center. So one thing I've noticed is when all four of the legs are down, it does not move. There is no rocking at all. There's no creaks, there's no groans. We're just properly planted. Um, that's not something we've experienced before. None of our other vans have been like that. Can you hear your van when you're moving around? Right, let's talk technical for a moment. I've got some figures here on a run by you. Um, a standard, this has a mass unladen weight of 3,777 kilograms. Um, it has a mass rain weight of 3,942 kilograms. And therefore it's got a maximum payload of 1,058 kilograms as standard, which for most motorhomes is very, very good. However, you can uprate these motorhomes. Um, this one here, can be operated to 5250 kilograms as just a paperwork exercise. The chassis is all good for it. You don't need to do anything else. However, since we have our VBS suspension fitted, um, I had to change a linkage on the handbrake cable too, and then we were able to uprate it to 5,500 kilograms. So we added 86 kilograms when we fitted the VBS suspension, um, and the high four system weighs an extra 65 kilograms. Um, I've also taken the jack out from under the passenger seat as we no longer need that. Um, and that weighs almost eight kilograms on its own. But taking that into consideration, we've operated it and we now have an actual payload of 1,415 kilograms. We've already taken the time to fill the van ready for our weekend away this weekend. We've already got clothes and the fridge is stocked and the cupboards are stocked. Uh, the water tanks, we've got a quarter of a tank of fresh water and the grate is completely empty. There's just Steve and I in here, so there's no kids. So shall we weigh it and find out what we actually weigh? So the beauty of the Alco Hi4 system is that it comes with an app for Android and for the iPhone. Uh, and you can control the system using the app or you can weigh it using the app. And we're gonna do that right now. Um, we hit the weigh now button and it says check the vehicle surroundings. And I've just been out there and checked the surroundings and it's all clear. Uh, and then we tell it it's checked. And then it extends the cylinders and lifts the vehicle. It then asks us to check that all the wheels are off the ground. And I can confirm that all the wheels are off the ground. The back and the front wheels, both sides of the van. So we can touch all wheels, saying we've checked that all the wheels are off the ground. And then we hit continue. 
and that's where it weighs it. And before it gives you the results, you have to choose checked and then it lowers it back down again. And there we have it, 4,941 kilograms is what the van weighs with Lindsay and I, all our stuff to go away and a quarter a tank of fresh water. So there we go, we've got over 500 kilograms of payload still left and I'm pretty sure the boys don't weigh that. And I neglected to add, we have a full tank of fuel in here ready to go down to Wales too. So how much does this system cost? The, um, the system we had fitted, the HY4 system, um, is £7,000 without the weigh-in module, £7,500 if you want the weigh-in module on it as well. Mm -hmm. um, and which system is going to be right for you? Now, we uh, approached um, VB Air because we had that problem with the grinding out of the tow bar and knocking off the water pipes. Um, so if, if that's the issue, the VB Air is definitely the system they're going for. Also, yeah, it lifts the back when you want to get onto ferries and it makes the ride much, much smoother, takes the rattles out of it more and much more comfortable for people um, when you're driving. Um, the, the Alco HY4 system, the high 4 system, is going to be better if you were going to level it much, much more of a, a gradient um, because we didn't get level on a couple of stops with the VBA, did we? So in that case, the high 4 system would level us definitely more. Um, also, much more planted. When you're walking around in here with the legs down, it is solid. And in any winds, we're not going to get buffered around as well for that. Um, and of course, if you want to weigh your van, then the high 4 system is the only option for you as well. Let us know in the comments if you've had a leveling leg system put on your van. Uh, what benefits have you noticed? Tell us all and we can all learn from each other. And if you've got any questions, put them down below. So one top tip is if you're going to level it, try and make sure your door is on the other side. Go on, in you get, Linz. <laughs> Right, After you get go. <laughs> Yay! Well done. Thanks. I do yoga. <laughs>